So I'm gonna start today's video off by showing you guys my bike because I ended up getting some new parts for it that I didn't show you guys yet. The first thing we're gonna talk about are my pedal extenders. I had these steel ones that were actually pretty heavy. Now they were solid steel and we weighed them and they came in at 3.8 ounces. But I ended up getting a pair of these gold titanium ones I actually found that were $40 and these things look pretty dialed. They're actually hollow and they are super light. They weighed in at only one ounce. Not only does it help me and make my bike a little bit lighter but it also looks really good with a gold finish. But we're gonna move up from the pedal extenders and I'm gonna show you guys my new Tioga seat. This is the Tioga Spider seat. And you can see there's a bunch of holes in it. Now the reason why I went with this seat is because the seat that I had on there just kind of didn't fit my build. Since I have a very exotic looking bike now with all the titanium stuff, it just didn't match my setup. So now this seat is on there and it actually looks really cool on it. It's nice and slim and small and it does have the holes in it. And I don't plan on sitting on it pretty much ever. So it looks really good and I'm happy with it. But now we're gonna go head outside and we're gonna go talk to Maddie because he's having some car issues. Matt, do you have any idea what you're doing right now? I have zero idea what I'm doing. There's supposed to be an open plug. I've got this. Bob. Come on. Everything is fucked in. Keep looking. You'll find it. It's somewhere You'll under find there. You'll find it. Gotta be. Oh, those <laughs> welds are awful. It won't be that far under it. The welds are so bad. All right, well, you get your welder out. You can fix it. That's true. So right now, Maddie's trying to figure out what's wrong with his car because his uh, check light engine light's on. on. So he's trying to find his uh, OBD plug in so okay. he could uh, plug it in and we can read it. You guys are lying to me. It should <laughs> be like right there. Did you find it? Yeah. It's, <laughs> not, got a side it's like built into a piece of metal. <laughs> built into a piece of metal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'm excited to see what it says. I'm coming in. Right now, he's on the phone with Ricky Hoffman, who is a super specialist. He knows everything Subaru, and hopefully we're going to make some progress with this. Literally got I got code 0018, it's flashing. Won't let me put my freaking cruise control on, so I'm all pissed off and I have to drive to the shop all the time. <laughs> oh man, and, so far. And uh, we can't figure out what's going on because the car, you know, as fast as could be, runs good, <laughs> starts up good. Clutch is a little weary, but um, the oil's been changed not too long ago, believe it or not. There is oil on the stick. For once. Yeah, I know, <laughs> I'm getting pretty good. <laughs> but uh, I haven't been able to use cruise control in about six days, and I am PO'd. Thinking your cruise control has nothing to do with that. Well, I'm going to tell you it won't let me use it. He ended up just driving Formula Drift just yesterday. He got sixth place, which was amazing. His lead run in a competition was like so sick to watch, and it's crazy because he only got like one practice run because he ended up breaking his axles. And uh, yeah, it's just crazy to see how good Ricky is at driving, and awesome to see that he's enjoying himself and just living the dream. He really is. So, but I also have something else to show you guys. The t-shirts for Maddie vs Ryan Nyquist just came in, and they look so good. You can see they're both doing the suicides on the bottom, Ryan on the left, Maddie on the right. But hopefully this will help us pay for everything because we have to find a place to stay for all the guys down there. So it'll definitely help a lot. So if you guys are planning to come to the event, make sure you guys come there straight away and go get a shirt. So it looks like we're not gonna be able to get Maddie's car fixed today, but we're gonna go cruise over to the skate park and we're gonna get a riding video for you guys. So we'll see you on over there. Guys, I know the ramps look the same, but I swear it's not the house. We are finally out of the backyard. Does it feel weird leaving your house now? It does feel a lot different. It's, uh, we actually had to drive here, so that was super <laughs> awkward, you know? <laughs> then we get here, and the ramps, you know, ours are a little smoother. That's a little a bit lie. more well-built. That's, that's a double uh, lie. Probably lighter, because we lack a lot of the screws that are in the faces of these. Um, yeah, it's crazy. And yeah, there's, there's other riders. There's like barely like any holes in these vans. It's amazing. Uh, I don't know what the difference was between our material and this. It must just be like wherever they bought it from or something. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, or who built it? It wouldn't be our fault. You love this mini ramp, right? You wish this was in the backyard. I, I do too, man. That's a huge Don't worry, ramp. one day. I'm going to see it on Facebook Marketplace. I'm going to text Please, you. Please, man. And let you... Hey, Please. Scott, we're doing another one. What are you doing, Matt? Are you going to patch it for him? They I'd be careful. Stuff. I would be careful touching that, dude. They don't have the plastic stuff in there. Oh, maybe it oh. broke through. So here we are at West Windsor Skate Park, and we are going to have some fun cruising today, have a nice little session. BK is going to be riding, get a bunch of tricks for us on this half pipe. But also, Maddie's going to be doing a lot of suicide variations in response to the Ryan Nyquist video that responded to our video when he was talking some trash on Maddie. I don't know, man. I'm feeling actually a lot better after watching this video. I'm feeling a lot more confident. He gave me some clues as to what he's going to do. It's like, okay, I'll go learn those in a couple minutes in the backyard. Not worried. I was able to manage to get one note. Maddie wasn't happy about it. Maddie's ready to put on a clinic once again here today. I think we're just gonna get weird to start off with because Maddie is a weird little kid, according to Ryan Nyquist. So let's do it. Really weird kid. Mr. Ryan Nyquist, here's the first one of the day. Oh! <laughs> so 
up. That's up first try. I just warmed up. It was literally the first trick of the day. It, it looked like it was perfect to do over the spine. It honestly did though. If I could line up that spine somehow in this mini ramp, I would do that. But that so, was that was great. And so Nike why did you just do that one? Because Nike was trying to call me out saying I didn't manual on the three foot box jump I have in the yard. Well, I'm sorry, Nike. Was, I don't have a multi-million dollar training facility in my backyard, okay? You've got every single ramp is like at least six feet in your backyard and I'm working with a hand-me-down from the township that was gonna throw them away. I've got about, my highest ramp's like three feet, literally about three feet. Box jump deck is like three feet wide. It's not even enough to get your back wheel down for a manual. So I just wanted to show you, I can manual and I could throw a Sui out, no problem. Okay, yeah, cause maybe one day after this game of bike, you can get some kind of candy bar sponsor. Well, that's what you I'm know, hoping, know, similar to how he had with Butterfinger and you could pull this kind of a exactly. ramp situation. Exactly, that's what I'm off. hoping for. Oh, that was sick. So your goal, you would like the 270 out of that? I would like. Oh, nice, dude. <laughs> uh, you are a weird little kid. <laughs> yes, dude. Love that one. Oh, there's my favorite line right there. Nice, Matt. <laughs> nice, VK. Nice, dude. That was awesome. It's actually not that bad. What it's it? just one upping the one he did in the video. What is it? He did the suicide the tire tap. Yeah. Do that and add a Canadian in. Ooh, on the mini ramp. Canadian, I like that. Canadian you can You can either use a foot or you use your brakes, whichever one you want. Oh, that was so nice. Yeah, BK, yeah, BK. Oh, <laughs> are you kidding me, dude? Oh, he's having a good day. Oh, this dude is firing today, guys. Nice, <laughs> oh, that's great. All right, let's carry that momentum right now. Okay, let's do momentum. a um, technical combination for Nyquist. Let's do one of his worst nightmares ever, the fakie. Nice, <laughs> love it, every time. We're, we're gonna do a really funny one where you have to ride in a circle fakie. So imagine him sitting down fakie and, and trying to pedal, trying to pedal in, in a circle. <laughs> that doesn't seem possible. That doesn't. <laughs> that's gonna be a difficult right, one, dude. So let's do one of those right. for him. Oh, no, no, you did not. Oh, this guy. Weird little kid, you. Yeah. Anything you want to say to Nyquist while you have a chance? Um, your fakies are terrible. I am a little kid. Kind of a weird little kid, to be fair. <laughs> um, so he was partially accurate. He wasn't wrong, you know, to be fair, he wasn't wrong. But, uh... You just got a lot coming your way, Nyquist. My thumb is healing up, and when this is 100%, woo, I am gonna send you right back to mountain biking. Cause you're not even. I am going, not even we're put. sending you back to mountain biking, and they're gonna send you right back. <laughs> you can leave the bags on the mountain bike. I know that's like an old man thing, you forgot to take them off. There is no rails on the mountain bike course. But we are sending you there, they're gonna look at you and send you right back. And then I'll deal with you again, in the future. Another one! On our way out of the half pipe area, man, has got one for Nyquist. Any, uh, anything you want to say about it before you go? I'm just pulling this one out of, uh, you know, it's out of my history books, I would say. I haven't done this one in a couple years, but uh, it's pretty creative. It's kind of like Nyquist where he's been pulling the same trick out of his book since 90, no, 80. No, it was 90s, yeah. 90? Yeah, it was in the 90s. Yeah, I don't know, I never really studied it. You know, you know, last century? <laughs> so, it's kind of the same thing, but I'm gonna be pulling this one out of, uh, you know, my old trick bag. I'm gonna do no-hander ride to Abubaka. We'll see it, man. Oh, 
That was legit. I'm gonna learn one real quick. You're gonna learn one right now? I'm just gonna learn a trick real quick, fly out. Okay. I'm gonna progress it to the spine. What's this trick gonna be? This one's gonna be uh, the old switch footed suey. So instead of going up right foot forward, we're gonna go left foot forward. So this That's is weird nice. because your knees aren't going where they're supposed to. So instead of throwing the left knee back to the seat where it's supposed to stay, mm -hmm. this one's gonna be way up front now and I gotta throw the right knee back. Okay. So, well, let's uh, try it then. It's really awkward. Oh, I saw the bike move. That looks, way. that looks weird. really, Very really awkward. awkward. Oh, that one was even sketchier. <laughs> Try to keep the bike straight though. <laughs> oh man. All right guys, this one is regular footed. So now watch his feet. You can see right now, a left foot forward. So this one's switch foot. Whoa, that looks so scary. I would never ever want to do that over a spine. We'll see if Nyquist can do it. Come on, BK. Oh, there we go, that was perfect. All right, Maddie's got a, another variation I'm gonna show you guys. Rocket Suey 180? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's what I will do for a big W. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> it will work. <laughs> this is great. A bonus clip you'll see on PK's Instagram most likely. Nice dude. Ew. He did it, and he put his feet back in. That was amazing. Would you call that a new school rocket trick? New school? Or is he gonna say he Future found? Future school? Is he gonna is he gonna claim this is on one of I those VCR ones? On one of those VHS things. VHS tape. Yeah. You, sure. you notice how he kept on telling you? He's like, Matt, if you go watch one of those, like that's easy to do. In fact, if you would go back and look at some of those VHS tapes that you don't know what they are, you'd probably see that people have done this for a long time. Yeah. Well, whatever, Nikos. We don't have VHS. We've got YouTube, and if it's not on YouTube, it doesn't exist. Yeah. Now we're gonna have some fun with this cone. One of the other Rogers here just set it up, and we're gonna have a little session with him. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, BK wants to tail up over this thing. It would be sick. Do you think BK can tail up this cone? You're dang right he can. <laughs> no doubt sick. in my mind. Yes, dude, it was easy. Great work, BK. That was nice. That looked awesome. What do you really? think Matt should do over the Suicide time? over. <laughs> <laughs> nah, uh, 180. 180? Yeah. I want to see 180 variation though, if you're going to do 180. Doesn't have to be Suey. Just 180 anything? Sure. 180 anything. 180 one foot? 180 turn down. <laughs> 180 one foot. That would be a pain. Down. I know, it would be terrible. You want 180 turn down? I'll give you a 180 turn down. 180 turn down? You're dang right! Are you kidding me? I'll give, I'll give it a good 180 You're going to have to go down. so high to get your back wheel away from the I'm cone joking. though. You remember well, that? I'm not. I don't know if that's going to work or not. Wow. That was actually pretty legit. Surprising. Um, not bad. <laughs> Are you kidding me, PJ? <laughs> okay, we're <laughs> try. What? I don't you know just if it's going to work. You over, dude. Liar. How sick was that? You knew. Today's your day, dude. I didn't just think know about it. Was work. You landed like everything you did today, pretty much. There's today is. So you guys are in for it. Yeah. Dude, good for you. Want to do a train? You want to do a train? Three. 360 train? I'll train with you. Yeah, Perfect. you're on fire, dude. Let's see. I'm going to follow you. I'm going to try and get some of that first go juju. Yeah. Nice, guys. <laughs> what did you just call them I mean, out I'll with? I'll try it, but I know I'm You would try it? I, I know I'm not going to land it. I mean, today's your day. Today's your day. But I know he'll land it. He called Maddie out to do a switch yeah. tail up over it. Yeah. I mean, I'll give it a whirl, but I know I'm not going to land it. You guys are crazy. You're going first or something. <laughs> you guys are really doing a train. That's sick. I can't believe they're about to send this right now. Oh! <laughs> Dude, that cone is way farther than I pictured. <laughs> so much farther than I pictured. <laughs> that was so bad. Okay, I least got to give it a tough now. Yeah, you laughing. do. Oh. Whoa! Super! It's so funny, just the cone makes you go five feet higher than the cone every time. Yeah, it's like, true. <laughs> oh, easy money. Almost dropped my camera. Yo, nice, Matt. You guys want to see something crazy? There's this hole that's in the middle of the ramp forever. Now, let me show you what's inside there. 
there is so much garbage. It is insane. It's turned into the garbage here at the skate park. It is vile. It really is. Is there like garbage under there? No, it's literally no, just, it's it's just, just a pile? pile of garbage. Oh, I thought it was a trash can. No. The trash oh, you contributed? Right? No, no, I thought it was a can though. I thought it was like oh, built okay. up so high. No, it's it's, it's pretty high up there. <laughs> I love how it's like been that amount of garbage mm -hmm. and nobody's got a spare piece of duct tape to just... <laughs> well, they tried. Well, hit from the bottom, nothing. Like... They tried, man. So we're just getting back over to my parents' house, and I figured this would be a perfect time to kind of talk to you guys about what's going on at the end of this week. So uh, we're here at the setup, and we are having our first jam. We have an invite list of uh, certain riders that we handpicked for this challenge. And what I plan on doing is doing like a day of games where I'm gonna like group these guys up together and there's gonna be challenges out in this course and it's gonna be pretty amazing. Like, I'll just give you guys the first one that we're gonna be doing is going to be a maze. We're gonna design an awesome like obstacle course maze. So you have to get from one side to the other and it's going to be complicated. And that's gonna be like the first challenge of the day, which I'm so excited to get going and figure it all out. But it's gonna be a lot of work this week between me, Maddie, and BK, just using a bunch of the stuff and getting very creative. But it's gonna be the squad games and I'm so excited about it and it should be epic. And I know I told you guys we we're gonna start working on it, but we ended up having an awesome day riding because it was so nice out. So we'll get to work tomorrow on it and we'll give you guys more insight on it. But so just be ready because the beginning of next week, you guys will get the video from it and it should be pretty amazing if it all goes according to plan so guys that's gonna be it for this one hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll have a new one for you guys tomorrow peace